I salute the unions. <laughs> I'm going to come and get you. No, 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 That's... no threats. Oh, no, I'm uh, Johnny Come Ketchup, on now. John Cobelt and Ken Shampoo, KFI AM 640, more stimulating talk radio. Well, Jerry Brown made his State of the State speech, and the headlines are all over the California media websites about how we've turned the corner, confounded the critics, yeah. The road is bright and optimistic ahead. And all he did... We're out of the woods. He lied to people to tax the wealthy. He lied to people on the sales tax. And then they gave it away mostly everywhere else but the schools. And now he's he's pr- not only praising himself, he's praising the legislature, which are filled with corrupt goons. And he's praising the unions, which are filled with corrupt goons. So it was a big victory parade today for all the corrupt goons that run California. Oh, now, at least one media reporter here said Brown said little in his address. And by the way, he did it at 10 o'clock in the morning, or I think it was 9. And well, they used to do it during evening primetime. And then I think Schwarzenegger or Gray Davis changed it when things got gloomy, and it looks like Jerry Brown's decided I'm going to Nothing has it. changed. And just because a lunatic stands up and says everything has changed... Doesn't mean anything has changed. Nothing has changed. We're still in the toilet. Well, well they claim there's no annual deficit. The long-term debt, though, is horrible. And that's def- something we got to remember. The deficit's going to come back because they're going to go and overspend again. They always overspend. And they're always there. Remember, every January budget is always, always wrong by many billions of dollars because they put in fake numbers. It will happen again. There's fake numbers. The revenue will be short. The spending will be too much. He even admits with this uh, this, uh, uh, wacky Obamacare coming through, they have no idea what it's going to cost. That'll be the next excuse for the massive deficits. Well, you know, this Obamacare situation caused uh, caused a reevaluation of our our budget numbers. All right. Well, in this clip, I mean, it's only a 24-minute speech, but he found time. He was that confident, that happy. That he brought out the brown doggle, the high-speed rail project. Let's hear this. Last year, you authorized another big project, high-speed rail. Yes, it's bold, but so is everything about California. Electrified trains are part of the future. China already has 5,000 miles of high-speed rail, and they intend to double that. Spain has 1,600 miles and is building more. More than a dozen other, con- dozen other countries dozen. have their own successful high-speed rail systems. Even Morocco is building one. Morocco. We all know the story of the little engine that could. No! The big engines were asked to call all the freight train over the mountain. They said, can't do it. They asked another, can't do it. The little train said, I think I can. Oh, no. And so he pulled the tr- Stop engine this. pulled in front of the Stop. long line of freight cars. Stop, I'm taking started- hostages. Puffing away. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. He said, I think I can. And over the mountain, the little engine went. We're going to get over that mountain. I have no doubt about it. <laughs> Clay had a good chance. They like the storytelling by the old bald man. It's taken, He's insane. It's taken great yes. perseverance to get us this far. This is my 11th year in the job. I've never been more excited. We can see. Two years ago, they were right in our obituary. Well, Mm. it didn't happen. California is back. Its budget is balanced. And we're on the move. Let's get it done. Thank you. Uh, It's really Uh, premature to talk like this, even if you are optimistic. This is absolutely crazy. No, he's flat wrong. He's dead wrong. We got the worst business climate and the highest tax state in the country. We got a 10% unemployment rate. Actually, the real unemployment rate is probably about 17%. We got one of the highest foreclosure rates. We've got we've got we, we've got huge huge food stamp rolls. One third of all the welfare cases in the state. None of that's changed. But he last, hasn't last changed. Last place for the business climate. Well, yeah, I was going to say what he's not changed is the long term trend in California. It began before Jerry Brown became governor again, which, as John mentioned, it's a shrinking middle class even more than ever. If you look at the latest numbers on poverty and wealth, California is a complete. It's like a third world nation. It's completely divided between very poor people, very rich people, and almost nobody in between anymore. That's what they've done to this state. And you're right. Some of the business climate policies led to that. And then the real estate boom where people just priced out and left. The poor people just stayed in the poor neighborhoods and rented during that time. But but there's still an out-migration out of California. It's a social services budget for this state. I I mean, when you... You you, can't sustain this when you are dependent on on a smaller crop of very, very wealthy people. You better pray that they stay. 
That's all I'm saying. I know that whole Phil Mickelson thing is overwrought at this point, but he made a good point. He has to think of his options. And, oh, what was I going to tell you? I was listening to another station this morning, right? Yeah. And they were quoting the Phil Mickelson thing about how now, you know, all of his pay, some 60, some odd percent of it is going to go to taxes. Right? Yeah. Well, the reporter said, well, uh, here are the numbers. California's top income tax rate is 13.3%, with the federal rate at 39.7%. If you add them up, it's only 50-something percent. We don't know where he comes up with his other... Well, what? Like, real, no, now, wait a minute. He, what dumb I, cluck said that? I don't know his name. It was one of the little anchors just reading something someone handed him. Uh, you forgot about property taxes and sales taxes and gas taxes? It does add up. It probably is 63, Social, 64, 65. Social Security. Social Security tax? Medicare tax? I know. The disability tax? The property Some tax? Some lunkhead, probably little news editor said, oh, well, if you add California's income tax and the federal income tax, you don't get 65%. What is he talking about? Read that. All right, I'll read it because I'm big voiced and I don't know anything. Oh. Oh, well, oh. It, well, let's say let's say Mickelson had a ten million dollar house, right? That's not uh, outrageous, right? No. And and you're taxed uh, on on a two percent rate, let's say property taxes, right? That's two hundred thousand dollars right there. Yeah. I mean, just just for the property tax every year on a ten million dollar house, and maybe he's got a bigger house, maybe he's got several houses. Imagine the sales taxes got... he pays for the things he buys because right. he's in that income bracket. You're paying an extra ten percent on everything you buy. So, you know, so I. The, 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 when you add up all that tax, I bet you it gets in the 60s. But but the stupid big voice answer, big voice anchor, isn't going to do the calculation. No. No, that's just the income tax. The marginal income tax rate in California is now about 52 plus percent. And then when you add all the other taxes, you can get close to 60 on on you know on on, do- on dollars you earn after a million. Now, maybe it's not quite 60, maybe it's 59, 62, 57, but you get the point. And you know what? All these phony baloney people like that Jill Painter, the sports writer in the USA, in the uh, Daily News who was trying to shame Mickelson yesterday. Yeah. These, these phony baloney hypocrites. If you were able to make that kind of money and you didn't have to live in California and you were comfortable living somewhere else, why wouldn't you move to Texas or Florida or Nevada and save the 10% income tax? Everybody would move. I would. If you ever get to a point in life where you can move because of your work and you're comfortable in the new state, you will move. And that includes all these bozo, hypocritical, lying-through-their-teeth critics who are trying to shame Phil Mickelson. There's no shame in being wealthy. There's no shame in being really successful, being one of the best at your craft and your industry. You're one of the best. You're really successful. You have a right to complain about the government taking 50 or 60 percent of your income. Oh, I'll bet you, you know, his PR people and handlers said, oh, that's not good for your endorsements. You shouldn't have talked about your tax burden. So that's why he apologized. Oh, you know why? I think most people understand when, when, oh, clearly. They, when they see it's over 50% income tax rate, I bet you their eyes pop out and they say, Phil, you're right. You're Who, who would say you're wrong uh, outside of these uh, left-wing kook, socialist, communistic fanatics? All right, when we come back, Tony Villar turns 60. Will he get an Obama cabinet appointment? And also, the only thing growing in the state of California apparently are union jobs. I see Jerry Brown thank the unions. We'll talk about it. 